Hello, everyone. It's time for story time. We're, we're sized up on the chair for you to sit, sit okay. down. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Here we go. Locking us down. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Storytime with Kalamazoo Public Library. It's me, Mr. Bill, and I'm really excited today for two reasons. First of all, we're in this really cool new studio that the library has to create programs for everyone. Second of all, if you're watching today, Wednesday, February 3rd, it's World Read Aloud Day. So I'm super excited to read some stories and celebrate one of the things that we love to do, which is read stories aloud. But first, let's have a song. I'm going to find this ukulele. Ukulele, I should say. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's nice that we're all here at the library, in the studio. At the library, in the studio. Hello, everyone. Sing with me. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's nice that we're all here. At the library, in the studio, it's World Reading Day. We're reading out loud at the library. It's KPL at the library. Let's do it again, and we'll start really quiet when we sing the at the library parts. We'll sing really pretty quietly, and we'll get louder and louder. Maybe you've done this before. Here we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello. Everyone, it's nice that we're all here. Really quiet now. At the library. At the library. Little louder now. At the library. Now really loud. At the library. Now really, really loud. At the library. Wow, that was kind of fun and silly to be loud and quiet. And it's really fun to play around with being loud and quiet called dynamics. All right. Well, it is World Read Aloud Day, if you're watching today, February 3rd. If today for you, it's February 4th, it can still be Read Aloud Day. And if it's February 5th, I think it's a great day to also have it be World Read Aloud Day. And that's fine. But I want to play a song for you now that you can sing along with. It goes like this. I want someone to read me a story Not too long, not too gory Because when you read to me We love those books from the library A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V W, X, and Y, and Z. It's an alphabet song. Let's sing it again. You can sing along with me if you want, especially on the alphabet part. And it's just fine to listen to. It's all right. I want someone to read me a story. Not too long and not too gory. Because when you read to me, I love those books from the library. It's shameless library propaganda on World Read Aloud Day. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H, I, S, T, U, V, W, X, N, Y, and Z. Yay! All right. It's so fun to read aloud, and it's fun to sing and play around with words. That's what we're going to do today because it's story time. World Read Aloud Day, oh my goodness. What do we have first? Is everyone ready for fun? I'm ready for fun. And because it's World Read Aloud Day, I wanna share some of my favorite stories with you. This one is called, Is Everyone Ready for Fun? Let's check it out. Look, it's Chicken Sofa. Plop. Whoa, 
Look at that red sofa. But what's really big and plump and maybe overstuffed in this picture, now after the cows jump on it, plop, not so fluffy anymore. Is everyone ready for fun? This cow asks. It's time to jump up and down, up and down. Let's all jump up and down on chicken sofa, ba -doo -ba -doo, on chicken sofa. I hope you're jumping up and down. You sure can. Wait a minute, says chicken. There's no jumping on my sofa. Oh, okay, chicken. We won't jump on your sofa anymore. Hmm. Now this cow asks, is everyone ready for more fun? More fun, asks chicken. How do you think chicken is feeling about all of this? fun they're having on chicken sofa. Hmm. It's time to... What are they going to do next? Let's find out. Dance! Back and forth, back and forth. Let's all dance back and forth. On chicken sofa, ba 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 ba. On chicken sofa. On chicken sofa. Wow, that red sofa is getting pretty flat. I'm going to turn the pages back now. So comfortable, so big and red. So flat from the dancing. But that's okay. I hope you were dancing along with the cows. What are you doing now? says chicken. You said not to jump on your sofa. We weren't jumping. Is everyone ready for even more fun? Chicken says, no more fun. I think we should turn the page and see what we have in store here. Let's check it out. It's time. Let's do that again. You can sing along with me if you want. It's time to... Where are we going? Let's see. Wiggle! Let's get ready to wiggle. To and fro, to and fro. Let's all wiggle to and fro. On chicken sofa. Boom, boom, boom. On chicken sofa. Look how flat this sofa is now. Wow. Enough, says Chicken. There will be no more jumping, dancing, or wiggling on my sofa. Then there's only one thing left for us to do. What do you think they're going to do? Is everyone ready? It's time to nap. Oh. Napping on my sofa? Asks Chicken. Yes, says this cow. Good idea. Oh, I can't take a nap now. It's story time, and it's World Read Aloud Day. I like this book by Jan Thomas, who has some really fun read-alouds that you can get up and move with, and what a fun way to read a book aloud. You can sing it and, and read aloud, find a read it however you want. It's good, good fun. Jan Thomas, all right. Well, I think it's time for us to pick a letter from the letter hat. And I'm gonna get out the mandolin. 
which is kind of like the ukulele. It's got strings like the ukulele, and it's got a body and a head. And these tuning machines look kind of like ears, but they're not. They're used to make the strings looser or tighter so we can play in tune. Mandolin, ukulele. And sometimes I call this the mando, but I don't want Baby Yoda to get confused and think that it's the Mandalorian, because it's not. That's a different mando. All right. Well, let's sing the letter hat song. Goes like this. I'm gonna sit right down and pick myself a letter. A letter from the alphabet. We can make words oh so sweet. They're going to knock me off my feet. Letters in the hat, and I'm so glad I've got them. I'm going to smile and close my eyes and pick a good one. A letter in that range from A to Z. I'm going to sit right down and pick myself a letter. A letter from the alphabet for me and you and you and me. 26 letters in the alphabet. Which ones will we have today? Let's find out. But first, we got to get the letter hat. Okay, Mandolin, we'll put you down for a while in your spot. And we'll get the letter hat. Now the letter hat is lots of fun because we're going to move the letter crane across space like this. My hand, letter crane. And when it's right over the hat, I want you to say, stop. And it'll be fun. I'll do it too. We'll do a warm up. It goes like this. Letter hat, letter crane, go. Stop. How it goes. And we might start from this side, from your right, gonna look like this. Letter crane, activate. Tell it when to stop. Stop. And down it goes. That's the letter J. All right. Let's put it on the letter board, which is the mandolin case, isn't it? All right, here's another one. This time from your left, letter crane. Let's all say it together. Letter crane, activate. Here we go. Letter crane, activate. Stop. Boop, 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 boop. It's the letter U. U for up lots of other things and it's the letter in the middle of cup it makes the sound oh oh like if i put some t in this in this u i could go yeah oh oh i'm gonna put it on the letter board just like that all right let's all say letter crane activate ready here we go letter crane activate stop M, the letter M goes M, M, M. So many words with the letter M. And the sound that I make when I eat something that I like, I go, hmm, mm, M. I'm going to put it on the letter board. One more. Letter crane, activate. Stop. Boop, 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 boop. It's the letter P. P, P, P. We made the word jump. Just like in, is everyone ready for fun when we were jumping on chicken sofa? Good fun. 
Thank you, Letter Hat. Thank you for our, your service to our story time friends. And uh, thank you, letters. We'll just leave those there, um, the mandolin case. And we can think about those letters. They're, they're 26 letters, and every one of them is unique and important, just like you are. It's like every everyone. It's good to think about that. Well, I am so glad we got to do this. I'm also really excited because the Reading Together author this year is Jacqueline Woodson, and she is truly amazing. She has won so many awards over the years, um, and this book, Pecan Pie Baby, um, is a few years old now, but I think it's my favorite new baby book. So here's a shout out to all the new babies, Baby Otto and all the rest out there. Um, this book is about a kiddo whose mama's gonna have a new baby, and this kid isn't really sure how she feels about that. So let's, let's listen to this story, see what you think. I also love the pictures by Sophie Blackall. Sophie Blackall is also um, won the Caldecott Medal um, pretty recently last year for, for um, her wonderful book, Lighthouse. Pecan Pie Baby by Jacqueline Woodson with pictures from Sophie Blackall. Just as summer started leaving us and the leaving brought all those colors to the trees, Mama pulled out my winter clothes. Time to give away the stuff that's too small, I said. This didn't used to be a mini dress. Jess is really tiny on her now. And she got bigger. Mama smiled. Let's keep it, Gia. And I knew what was coming next. More talk about the ding dang baby. Hmm. I don't know why we have to keep my old stuff, I said. You do too know why, my mama said back, because there's going to be another baby coming soon. Not real soon, right? Probably by the time the first snow is on the ground, mama said. Cool, huh? Not very, I said. I looked out at the falling leaves and made a silent wish for winter to come and go quickly without bringing any snow. Mama touched my hair. I'll tell you one thing. This baby sure loves itself some pecan pie. It's wanting some right now. Well, I said, I love pecan pie and you love pecan pie. So that baby's just being a copycat. In the kitchen, Mama cut us a big slice. By the time it was jacket weather, everyone was talking about that baby. You want a boy or a girl? My friends Juna and Omi asked at recess. And my friend Trixie said, let's play Mama's having a baby. Mama's having a baby. People are going crazy. If it's a boy, give it a toy. If it's a girl, give her a curl. Wrap it up in toilet paper. Send it down the escalator. First floor, stop. Second floor, stop. Third floor, you better watch out because S-T-O-P spells stop. When my friend Michaela slept over, she said, your mama better not put that baby in my bed, right? Because then where would I sleep? Man, I was thinking, that ding dang baby's gonna try to take the place of my sleepover friend. Even my aunties were baby crazy. When they came over for our weekly sweet tea and toast party, they both drank their tea in one huge gulp and ate their toast in two bites without either of them saying to me, why isn't the weather marvelous, dear lady? Then they got up and sat with mama, talking about that baby. 
All fall, the leaves kept dropping off the trees, and the days got shorter and shorter. One Saturday, a huge box came, and all afternoon, my uncles were in my room, scratching their heads and fussing with each other as they put that baby's crib together. They're working on it. And there's Gia watching. Wonder how she's feeling right now. At school, my teacher read a book about a girl who was going to become a big sister. And when she finished reading it, everybody looked at me. When my cousin came to visit with her new baby, she put the wiggly thing in my lap and said, you sure are ready to be a big sister, aren't you? Not really, I said, handing the crying baby back to her. One night, Grandma took us out to a fancy restaurant, and she kept fussing over Mama. Eat your greens, she said, and you should order some Brussels sprouts for the baby. Mama made a face, and we laughed. Uh-uh, Grandma, I said. It's not a Sprouts baby. That baby loves pecan pie. So for dessert, me and Mama shared a piece. Are you getting enough rest? Grandma asked. You know I can take Gia. That baby needs you now. I wanted to say, I need, ba I need Mama now. Then Mama reached over and rubbed my back. Me and the baby need Gia with us. And even though I didn't like it when Mama talked about that ding-dang baby, her hand felt nice on my back, and I was glad that she needed me. Some days, I sat on my stoop thinking about all the years it had been just me and Mama, about us drinking hot chocolate and telling silly stories, about the mornings I jumped into her bed when it was still blue-pink outside, snuggling up to her while she tried to keep sleeping. Now that baby was going to change everything. When my cousins came for Thanksgiving, all anybody could talk about was baby this and baby that. I'm so sick of that ding-dang baby, I said. See, this is a speech bubble. There, she said it out loud. I'm baby. But I guess I didn't say it loud enough because everybody kept laughing and talking and making plans for when the baby got here. But then the whole table got quiet and Mama sent me to my room. Upstairs, I got that teary, choky feeling, and even though there were a whole lot of people in my house, I felt real, real, real alone. Later on, Mama came upstairs and sat beside me. I didn't look at her. You know what I'm going to miss the most when the baby comes, Gia? Mama asked. I know what I'm going to miss the most, I said. My whole, whole life before, before the ding-dang baby, Mama said. I smiled. Yeah, before that ding-dang baby. Guess what? Mama whispered. What? I said. I'm going to miss that too. For real, Mama? For real. Those were the good old days, I said. Mama smiled. Guess you're going to have to tell the baby all about it. And I nodded. I guess I am.
Then mama hugged me and we sat like that, just being all cuddly with that ding dang baby jumping around in mama's belly. After a while, mama said, it's cold out there tonight. Weatherman's calling for snow. Then let's go downstairs and eat some dessert before that ding dang pecan, pecan pie baby gets here. Mama laughed because she knew just like I did how much the three of us loved ourselves some pecan pie. Really excited that Jacqueline Woodson is the Reading Together author in Kalamazoo this year. She has so many great books. Um, and this is one of the picture books that she has authored. And so I really hope you'll check them out and read her chapter books, um, her books for younger, for young readers, for middle grade readers, teens and adults. Very exciting, very exciting. Thank you, Jacqueline Woodson. Well, wonderful. Let's now sing another song. Let's sing a song with the mandolin again, because I feel like the mando came all this way. Let's sing a song about the moon in the sky. You might know this one from before. It's an old Girl Guides song, I think. Mr. Moon, Mr. Moon, you're up too soon. The sun is still in the sky. Cover up your head and go on back to bed until the day goes by. It was on the wintry evening we walked the forest through. And suddenly I heard it, a soft and sweet cuckoo. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. the cuckoos when we sing it again. Here we go. Mr. Moon, Mr. Moon, you're up too soon. The sun is still in the sky. Cover up your head and go on back to bed until the day goes by. It was on a winter evening. We walked the forest through. And suddenly I heard it, a soft and sweet cuckoo. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. Cuckoo, 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 cuckoo. It's fun to sing cuckoo together with you. And I'm so glad you came to story time. Today, we have story time every Wednesday and Saturday mornings. And you can always find story times on KPL TV. You don't have to watch them at those times, but that's when they start. Well, I'm so glad you came to story time today. I'm so glad you came to story time today. We'll talk and sang and laughed and read and played. I'm so glad you came to story time today. I'm so glad you came to story time today. I'm so glad you came to story time today. We talked and sang and laughed and read and played. I'm so glad you came to story time today. Bye for now.